Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the farming pots add-on or schnizzlily. I'm going to move you now Lily because you've you been in the way. Just come up here. There you go. You can have your squeaky toy. Yes, hello. Mwah. So this is probably going to be a bit of a shorter Mwah. review. Because it's a very simple add-on. But this is uh, something I've seen in like Java uh, mods and stuff, so, uh, and it was pretty popular in them. So I thought I'd take a look at it. Yep, hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, hello. Mwah. Mwah. Right, let's let's get into it, then, shall we, Lily? Yes, we shall. <laughs> oh, that's a good right, so I've got normal parts. To ah! obtain, yeah. To obtain parts, you need to. Yeah, you sneeze to my face. Hmm. In uh, to obtain a uh, pot, you need to craft it. This is uh, done by using uh, one type of terracotta. Glazed terracotta or concrete in the following pattern. So it's just a U of terracotta, glazed terracotta or concrete. Which makes this actually obtainable in Superfert, if I'm not mistaken, because I believe you can get like sand and red sand and uh, and uh, gravel. I think you can get gravel from the Wandering Trader. I might be mistaken on the gravel. But you can probably also get like terracotta uh, off him as well. I don't know, maybe. I I don't have all of his trades memorized. Actually, do I do I have them noted down? I might do. Let me just check that real quick. So I like to give you as much information as possible in these uh in these reviews. So I think I have a trade. Like chart here that shows all the villages, and I think it also shows one DT. Uh, old broom. Where? Right there. There you go, villager trades. Yeah, so here we go. The one DT can trade sand, red sand, dye, gunpowder, seeds, pumpkins. Sugar cane, vines, lily pads, ferns, mushrooms, flowers, sea pickles, glowstone, coal, uh, hello, lily, uh, kelp, I, I think that's packed ice, cactus, and podzol, slime balls, saplings, nautilus shells, the buckets of fish, and again, packed ice. Oh, is that blue ice? Oh, looks a little bit different to the other ice. Uh, so no, they can't. He doesn't trade terracotta, which I'm surprised at. I think terracotta would have been one of them they traded. You can get, and you don't also can get gravel from him. That's a bit disappointing. I don't know if you can get it from any of the other trades either. Uh, you can get clay. No, you can get bricks. You can't get clay from the. You can get. Um, so. Oh, you can get terracotta from the mason. It requires three, but that requires three stone, which you can't get on super flat. Uh, so yeah, I don't think it's possible to get this in in flat on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, unless there's something I'm missing. But I do not think there is. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm missing anything. So, yeah. So, you can't get these on flat or basically anywhere that doesn't generate, uh, you know, uh, stuff, generates the, any of these. So, I think what would be cool if they changed it so that, um, well, actually, no, you could get it on flat, but you need dripstone. I'm pretty sure you can get dripstone from what? No, can't you can't. Well, at least not going to that. So, 
don't know. Uh, because if you if you could get dripstone, then you could get clay, which you could turn into terra. Well, you couldn't turn into terracotta because there's no way to get stone, so you can cook the clay into terracotta. So, yeah. So what would probably be a good way to fix this is, I don't know, maybe add uh, some new ways to get uh, the, so, so like, uh, maybe add a hammer uh, that turns, that's like, um, uh, or a sieve, sorry, add a sieve that you can use to get like, uh, like pebbles uh, from there to then use then you craft four pebbles together to get a cobblestone and you could use that cobblestone to make a furnace and then use that furnace to make stone and you could get a stone mason and you could get a terracotta from the stone mason um or uh, a way to make dripstone so like maybe just like um like for like uh one two three four five cobblestone with a water bucket or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, place a part, hold the... Place a part, hold the block you... Or... Hold the block your crop can grow on. Ah, yes, I was a bit... Uh, confused there. Grow on and interact with the part to place the block. Then interact again, holding the seeds of the crop you would like to grow. To harvest, you will need to wait for the crop to fully grow, then interact with the crop and you will receive the harvest, loot, whatever you want to call it, uh, NB. You can upgrade this to be automatic with a hopper pot. Select the button, uh, uh, button about hopping pots to find out more. So, yeah. So, let me show this off real quick. This part, this one off there. So, pot, all, oh, and it even changed depending on like the terracotta and stuff you use, that's cool. So, yeah, you just, concrete, yeah, you just, U shape, so, let me go to game mode one, I'll grab myself a cell, some, uh, So I am this farming pot cyan concrete. And then you'll get some dirt and get carrots uh melon. So there's a few things I wanna try here. Melon seeds, sap. Uh, do oak saplings and the, the, uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, uh, and I also want to try cac cactus. And I'm gonna need sand. So let's try this out. So in zero. So you place it down. You right click with the block. So let's try carrots. Hmm. Am I missing something? Pretty sure. All the block and interact the pot to place block. Then interact again, uh, holding the seeds of the crop you would like to grow. So it's not working with carrots. Will it work with melons? Yeah, it worked with a melon. Will it work with a sapling? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Will it work with these two? So, sand, will it work with sugarcane? Yep. Yeah. 
And will they work with cactus? Yep. So the only one I didn't work with was the carrots. Oh, let me... Lily! Give out here uh, 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 wheat seeds 64. Lily! Yeah, it's not working with wheat seeds for some reason either. Maybe I need to right click with a hoe. It didn't say how to, but I don't want it. Give at P who Ah Yeah, so to use seeds and carrots and I guess also potatoes, uh, you also need to hoe it. The book does not mention this and it should. Yeah, and how do you harvest it? I don't know if that's fully grown. Do you right click, shift right click? Normal parts. To harvest, you will need to wait for the crop to fully grow, then interact with the crop and you will receive the item loot. So, oh yeah, there we go, interact. So I got the melons, got some wood and sticks. I got a log, an apple, and a couple sticks. I don't think that one's fully grown yet. Is this one fully grown? Nope. Yeah, it's a little bit slow, but these are, this is just a basic and upgrade that we get. There we go, got some sugar cane. I you know, literally just got one sugar cane from that one. I got one cactus. So it is a little bit, yeah, like I said, it is a little bit slow. You don't get a ton. Now, I don't know if you right click kids with like a fortune tool, if it'll increase the crop yield. But I don't, it didn't say anything about it, so I'm going to assume that it doesn't. Okay, so then you go hopper pot. Turn your pot into hopper pot uh, by placing it in a crafting table with a hopper. For example, that and that, this is a shapeless crafting recipe. Place a pot above a container, hold under the block your crop can grow on and interact. Yeah, so, yeah, so if I just like give <laughs> Lily at P. Oh, Lily, stop it! 58. Oh, Lily! Uh, up, ups, now! Come on! Come here! Stop it! Alright, so craftable. Yeah, farming pots. So, what oh, like spike. Don't know what that's all about. Yeah, only got a single carrot. Got the seed and the wheat. Hey, stop it. There's nobody there. So give at P chest 64. So for this you wanna like play place down a couple chest. You can play Two of these on top, and then uh, let's do wood. So let's get a couple of saplings in here. Uh, yeah, just a bit laggy. So yeah, you can open it with them on top, so that's good. This is basically just shaping, except for that. Really? Damn it, dog. Hey, now if we cannot be interrupted by the little woofy woos. So yeah, you can see they've gone straight into there. Now you stay here. Yeah. See, they've just gone, hey, what did they do over there? Oh, whatever. Uh, no, and... Why is it so laggy? I think I need to, like, clear some of the add-ons. 
So I have all my bunch of add-ons back on my computer for all these reviews. Anyway, uh, I'm getting distracted. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, hopper pots. And you got crop types. So you got farmland crops, it's like common crops and some flowers. Oh yeah, you can also do flowers with this. So you got dirt, pods all mycelium and grass blocks, all flowers, saplings, mushrooms and various plants. Moss blocks are all flowers and lush cave crops. Sand, the grey sugarcane, dead bushes and cactus. Oh, so this make dead this uh, is actually uh actually makes dead bushes a renewable resource now. Uh Water gives you aquatic plants and corals, so you can grow coral and um, kelp and seagrass and stuff like that. Soul sand will grow neverwort. Crimson nylium will grow fungi and the dirt foliage are found in the crimson biome. Warped nylium will grow fungi and foliage are fo found in the warped biome. And endstone grows chorus flowers. So yeah, that's pretty much. So you can grow pretty much every crop in the game. Also, it's, it'll be easier to grow chorus air uh, is quite difficult. It's quite a pain in the butt to farm. Uh, so create a tiered pot, uh, one pot upgrade by surrounding a pot in iron. So four iron uh, and one pot. So yeah, use the upgrade on a placed pot. Breaking the pot drops it so you can craft the next tier. So. If we go here and go pot, pot, all. So yeah, so there it goes. Uh, so yeah, that's never right. So I'm pretty sure it goes iron, got, so yeah, iron. So yeah, farming pot. So it has to be a null pot and not a hopper pot. So if I just go to game mode one. Just grab pot and hold on. So let's get some. Let's clear out. Oh, I'm just chuck a bunch of stuff out. So I'm gonna need. Got. So I'm gonna need. Four iron. Four gold. So it's part, so I need iron, gold, and I think it's diamond, neverite, and emerald. Yeah, neverite, diamond, and emerald. Ammo. One, two, three, four. And diam. One, two, three, four. Nev. Oh, actually, I want to check real quick. So, game mode zero. Hot. Okay, family is goal. Uh, farming parts never right upgraded. It requires, yeah, it requires four never. I think is that is very expensive. Might, uh, in my opinion, they uh, probably should. Uh, Make it for ancient scraps, some like scraps or debris, instead of uh, instead of uh, ingots. So iron. Oh. Okay, so it actually has to be the normal. Terracotta pot, which is probably a bug. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say that 
they just forgot to add all the different ones. I need to find the regular terracotta pot. There we go. So, up. Oh. oh yeah, I need to put in pot. pot. Right, so I got iron. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, so, I'm going to put pot, there, so, iron, gold, emerald, down the way, base. Uh, does this give some planes? No. I'll just use... No, oh wait, I sh Oh wait, yeah, I sh Ah! Oh, well, I'm just gonna... Go to game mode one. So actually, instead of a chest, I'll use... A, uh... Well, actually, no, I can use... I will, I will use chests. But I'll do it like this, so... Iron, so regular, iron, gold, neverite, emerald, so that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So then I'm just going to put these along here. So then I'm just going to get some dirt. And I could be all the dirt. Uh, let's do... Uh, I don't know. Um, Lily of the Valleys. So, game mode zero. So, I'll pop that one in there, upgrade that one, put that in there. Then, pop, you'll get the gold. Upgrade that one. Put stuff that in there. Upgrade to diamond. Put that in there. Upgrade to emerald. Put that in there. And upgrade to neverite. And that in there. I forgot I'm not in creative, so none of them have produced anything. Right, so yeah, this is uh, well for flowers. This is quite bad because, um, like, the only reason I'd use this is if I had like no bone meal. It's like. A bow meal fire can produce a ton of flowers really quickly. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, a few comments. Firstly, uh, why is emerald above diamond? That's a bit of an odd choice, but I'm not. Uh, if you're going off like wheel generation, then sure, emeralds are more difficult to get than diamonds, but. I could if it's, if you if I spawn into a new world, I can guarantee I can get emeralds much easier and quicker than I can get diamonds. This is a bit odd that the emerald is above diamonds, but it, whatever. 
Uh, also, Neverite is two on the power. So either they need to nip, nip, they need to either change crafting recipe so it's, uh, you know, scrap, solation, debris instead of whole ass ingots. Or basically make this so it like produce a butt on because this is, I would not go out of my way to get four Neverite ingots just to get what? Uh, how fast, like, it's faster than the rest, but it's just like, it's not even really that fast. Like, I can get more, uh, little flower, so yeah, well, well, <laughs> let's try this with something else. Uh, can, so I'm gonna give at P, uh, uh, sapling, bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can just right click on them to replace them, which they, they should they should add that. Just the ability to right click on them or just to replace have it a way to replace these without having to break them would be nice is what I'm trying to say. So put that down. Dear block sapling. Place that down, the block sapling. Place that down, the block sapling. The block sapling. The block sapling. The block sapling. Does iron, gold, diamond, and there. Boom, 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 boom. Let's take all these lilies of the valley. Eh, it's not, eh. Yeah, for like something as, as as expensive as the Neverite upgrade, I would expect this to be just like growing tons and tons and tons of trees. So yeah, like I said, the Neverite upgrade needs to be either cheaper or just way quicker. And I think it would be cool if it was just like way quicker and it was just like grew like a ton of trees per second. Because like... Uh, so, hold on, I want to time this real quick. So I want to time from when it, how long it takes for it to grow a tree. So I should have like a stop watch or something. Oh. Right, so... Start. So it's about one log every ten seconds. So that and uh, so one log every ten seconds. So let me do a quick math. So that quick math. So that's. Every 10 seconds, so that's six in a minute. And then so six times 60 equals, so that's 360 logs an hour with the Neverite upgrade. Yeah, no, that's not that, that's not really like good at all. 17. Eighteen, yeah, and you, you, like, you do get some leaves and sticks, which are, don't really make an aren't really going to make an impact. So, uh, hold on. So, uh, let's just go. So, sixty-four 
divide by six. So you're getting one stack every 11 minutes, basically. Like it's 10.66666 minutes, but let's just say 11, round it up and say 11 minutes. Uh, so every, so it's four stacks for a dime, four stacks of logs for, that is, it basically sells for one dime in generally. So that's uh, 44 minutes, almost an entire hour, just to generate one diamond's worth of, uh, of logs. Now, that is on the way to underpowered, especially considering the crafting recipe. So, I think a diamond one should probably generate a stack of logs every minute or so, maybe? Like, uh, maybe every, like, I, I think, like, they really just, like, need to rework the grow, growing speeds on these. Like, and the iron one doesn't seem to be any faster than the normal one. Like, maybe it's the slight bit faster. The gold one, it seems to be, like, double the speed. So iron needs to be double, then gold needs to be double iron, and diamond needs to be double gold, and then emerald need to be double diamond, and neverite needs to be double emerald, maybe? Right. I think that would, that's, that would be fair, I think. So right now, it doesn't really seem so. Yeah, gold and iron seem the same. Diamond only seems a little bit faster than gold. Emerald seem a little bit faster than diamond. And uh, neverite is... To be fair, neverite is a fair bit faster than... Uh, than emerald. That being a little bit more than double at the speed of emerald. But because of the... Once before, it don't really give that much of a uh, in that much of a production increase. Then it just doesn't like stack up as much. So let's see. So uh, I'm going to time the base part with no upgrades. So wait for this to finish growing. So I started, so that, so yeah. And also, right, so I'm also gonna get the, all the different uh, crops that I can grow and I'm gonna rank them and like which one should grow the fastest to the slowest, um, or well, slowest to fast, I don't know, fastest, slowest. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do fastest at the bottom, slowest at the top, I guess. I guess you could also have it so that the, uh, the, uh, the growing material that you use also has an impact on, like, how fast they grow, but, uh, I'll get back, I'll get into that in a minute. Man, this is slow with just a single, with just like the help of on its own. Right, there we go. So it's, so it's, that took one minute, 40 seconds. So let's say we keep uh, that the same. So it's still one minute, 40 seconds for the base part. 
to produce uh, one tree, one log. Well, let's see, how much it will that produce? So uh, that's one log every one minute. So for one stack of logs, so that's, I uh, can't really calculate time on here with a normal calculator. Uh, I have this special calculator. Does it have a time, shapes, bodies, weight, temperature, speed, length, currency, tip, body mass, index, age, percentage, averages, ratio, equations, fractions, yeah, command, prime checker, number generator, shapes, bodies, acceleration, angle, area, cooking, data storage, data transfer, energy, force, fuel, length, power, precision, ring size, Roman numerals, shoe size, speed, temperature, time. Here we go. Uh, so let's see, so millisecond, second, oh, so this just converts time, so, hold on, yeah, no, that's, no, that's not going to help, okay, so, let me think, anyway, so if that's 1 minute 40, then if, so if we're doubling it to, uh, doubling it to with iron, that means it would take 60, 20. So that's 30, 20. So that means it would basically take 50 seconds with iron to produce one. So basically like, so that would be 50 seconds. And then for gold, it would be one every uh, five, 20, yeah, one every 25 seconds. Then diamond, it would be one every, uh, so that's, uh, so 25 divided by two, so that's 10. Uh, so that would be two and a half. So every 12 and a half seconds. Then emerald would be every, uh, basically every six seconds. And then neverite would be every three seconds. Yeah, and I think that's fair because, again, you need the previous one to upgrade to the next one. And you also need the materials for that one. So I think doing that is more than fair. Uh, especially, especially with like, how much the neverite one cost. Like, even then, I, with that, I'd say... Oh, with the amount of time it would take for you to get all that never I just trade up, get more. Well, you're, you're, I would just uh, say get, just use more emerald ones. I, I still think even then the never I one would need nerfing. Uh, the recipe would need chain, you know, be made less expensive. Maybe make it like uh, two never I tingers and two ancient uh, debris or something like that. Uh, also, uh, all the different crops, I want to go over them and uh, uh, basic, basically say what I think their growth speed should be. I'm not in creative. Game move one. So let's get all the different things that it said it can grow, all the different crops. So crop types, uh, so crops and flowers. So I'll just use a poppy. Oh, I've got its rose because of the text track. So I'll use the rose as just a standing for all flowers. Uh, and then like seed, so wheat. Pumpkin, melon. So I'll have the wheat seed, uh, and then I'll have the wheat seed speed the standing for like uh, wheat, potatoes, carrots, and beetroot because I don't want to have to put all them on because they're all just, they're all going to be the same either way. So flowers, saplings, mushrooms, and. Plants, mushroom. I don't know what the various plants mean, so I'll just do mushrooms, mush. So I'll just use the brown mushroom for both of them. 
Well, I'm gonna just try something else, else real quick. So if I get uh, one of these and I put a fin. Bob type, so did console, so I guess I can just do bit. Yeah, so I'll use the uh, fin as well as standing for the various plants that, uh, uh, so crop types. Flowers, lush cave crops, so that's the spore blossom. I'm, I don't know why else spawns in the lush cave. Off the top of my head. So I'll just use it as a standard for the other, whatever else is in the lush cave. Uh, sugar cane, dead bushes and cactus. So... Sugar cane, dead, and cac cactus. Aquatic plants and coals. Oh, you, you know what? So aquatic plants and coals. So that would be kelp. So I just use kelp as a standard for all aquatic plants and coral. I guess it's is it a coral? I'll just use the coral block, even if it's not a coral block, I just use it as a standing. Might be the fan corals that you need to use. Don't know. And then soul sand never wart. Uh, crimson Nylon can do the fungi and foliage in the Crimson biome, so if I just put in Crim... So that has, that's to be the same for the Crimson and Warp, so... I'll, do, I'll just put the Crimson Fungus in. And the Warp... And the Warped Fungus has a standing for those guys. And then chorus flowers. Nice, I'm going to get an item frame. Item frame, and then I get red con, red concrete, yellow. Concrete and the green. Green concrete. So green concrete will be fast. Green concrete will be fast growing. Yeah, that will be medium growth rate. And red will be slow growth rate. Right, so, I'm just going to dump them in there. So, first up will be the fast growth rate, which I'll put these, well, these guys definitely should be fast. And I'll tell you why. The fairs and stuff, they're just like uh, decorative stuff, so uh, there's not really much use to them. Uh, same for the dead bush. They don't, they don't have much use, they're just... Uh, Really decoration, you can get sticks from them, but that's not really that good. And um, flowers, because if you build a bone meal powered flower farm, then that is just way faster than any of these. So that so it's been outpaced by a vanilla feature. Uh, also, uh, the crops should be fast. 
because, you know, carrots, potatoes, wheat, speed through, they should be quick to grow because, you know, uh, you could just set up a bone meal powered uh, farm for them and they could outpace them again still quite easily. Uh, nah, I like, yeah, I guess sugarcane should also be in there. Should also be fast growing. So these you should be able to like get tons off without like much. So like, you know, they should be like half. So let's say this is this is currently what they're growing at is like medium speed. This should be half the speed of medium. So that's uh, of medium speed by default. And next up is medium speed, which will put pumpkins and melons into because uh, you can't really make a good uh, bone meal and a uh, uh, bone meal power. You can't really make a bone meal powered pumpkin and melon farm, but a pumpkin and melon farm is still quite quick, so it sh should be in there. Uh, you can get so you can get the. So, and then kelp, you can get quite a lot of kelp quite easily. Uh, mushrooms and never warts and spore blossoms should... So yeah, mushrooms should be in here. Never warts should be in here. And the, the, the... You know, they should... They go in there. And cactus. Should also go in there, so... Yeah. And then I think actually, yeah, that's just the warped and crimson stuff, so Ah, uh, so does this count the tree? So hmm. Do you get the warped so hold on, so hold on, let me get the I have a better idea for this, so vine. Weeping and Twisted Vines. So these all represent the plants that you find in their biome. But then up here, I'll put in the... Uh, warp... The Warp Stem and Crimson Stem. Up here. So, oh, I've got to get a sapling. A sapling says so sap. So I'll use oak as a standard for all saplings. So then these should go up here for. So, because. Uh, chorus flowers, they're not easy. To, so this would be like 1.5. So this, so this would be like 0.5, this would be 1 times the current speed, then this would be 1.5 times the current speed of them. And they're basically because like wood is quite good and you can, uh, you, you know, you use a lot of it so uh, having them be a bit slower would be a good idea. Uh, the co the uh, coal be being one a non renewable block, which is this makes renewable, and two, uh, it being a uh, a quite value uh, a quite sought after decorative block makes it up uh, puts the coals up here. Uh, the the uh, chorus plants they they're just general difficulty. Uh, of like farming uh would be would uh, uh, make the, put you know put them up here in my opinion and then uh, you've also got the crimson and wart uh logs uh plants you put I've put them up here because again they're basically wood so for the trees and they're also uh fairly annoying to farm. So yeah I think uh the this would be a good change for the add-on, but now I also want to talk about the different uh, 
soils so you can grow these in because that you've got uh farmland so you got the farmland so i'll just use like farmland and and dirt uh as one so dirt I don't think I can cheat in farmland. I can't, so oh, I probably do. Anyway, so I just use data to encompass farmland and dead and podsol and the, uh, I'll get mycelium. My C mycelium. And grass will just go in with like dead. I got moss, sand, and I don't want moss. So moss, sand, and soul. So I think it said soul soil and not soul sand, but it, uh, it doesn't really matter. Sand, soul. Oh, it says soul sand, not soul soil. My bad. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, it's gonna bother me. Soul sand. Crimson and warped nylium and endstone. Actually, yeah, no. Don't think I'll do soul sand. So, yeah, these are the. So. Uh, so, let's say these are the ones that, you know. Uh, like default growing speed. Well, I don't even need that. I could just probably just do this. So, uh, this is like default growing speed. Speed for, so that would be like dirt, the dirt. Uh, so, let me get an item frame. And a sign. So we have dirt being default. Then you would have uh, hold on, I don't want it to be yellow. Then you'd have And then here you would have uh mm, yeah I can do that so moss block sand so moss block would uh, in uh, uh, increase row speed speed. For so, uh, what can be planted on moss? So, crop types all flowers and lush cave. What say you? Uh, hold on, let, let me see. Can you not uh, grow? Say, so, I know you can grow crops on moss blocks, can you not grow uh, sugar cane? Sure. Yeah, you can grow sugar cane. Uh, yeah, so sugar cane, flower, yeah, increase growth speed for sugar cane, flowers, and plants. Is it, uh, Sugar cane flowers and plants and plant such as like miscellaneous plants so like uh you know these the, these three because they can all grow on there. Uh, the idea being that because the moss is like more difficult to get and you know more rarer, then they grow better and you know more nutrients and stuff. 
uh, sand could increase growth speed of sugar cane. Uh, because uh, they, they uh, it, I don't know if everybody knows this, but there was uh, this. There used to be like an old like, uh, why you see how that basically sugar cane used to grow faster on uh, sand, uh, and I think this would be a nice little nod to that. I'm not talking like a huge like growth increase. This is probably just this would probably just be like a let's say one point two x. Multiplier. Uh, then what else did I uh, get? I got sand. Oh yeah, my cellium. Because you, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it, if you can. In the add-on, I don't know what I did with the book. I might have accidentally leaf book, but I know. I don't know if you can put mushrooms in dirt, but in in the um within the Minecraft you can grow mushrooms on dirt, but you can't grow like the big mushroom. You can't grow the big mushrooms. You need mycelium for the big mushroom, but you can grow. Well, actually, no, you can grow big mushrooms on grass, but I think it needs to be dark dark for that to work. So I think uh, mycelium. Uh. Increase growth speed of mushrooms. Then neither my cellium would increase the growth speed of mushrooms. And uh, uh, I think that because then you don't need my cellium to grow the mushrooms in the pots. But if you do get my cellium, then you can grow them even faster. And then what you could do is, like, in the growth pods, if it's dirt, uh, it would just grow a normal mushroom, but then if it's mycelium, it would grow a big mushroom. Because you can't, because, uh, you can't just, like, grow mushrooms on regular dirt, but they, uh, as well. But in a dark room, they, like, spread as well, so, uh, but you can also bone meal it if it's dark and grow a big mushroom, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that second one, though. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be cool if, you know, if I did that, but, uh, yeah, this, if I don't, oh, there's the book, I don't know why I miss it, but yeah, if I don't add this one, then, then it's not that big of a deal, but I do think they, they, re they really should add this one, like, add this change, the different growth speeds for the different crops. And also, like, change the recipe for the Neverite upgrade because it is just too expensive. Uh, do they have a Discord? It doesn't say here that they have a Discord. They just pot tiers, crop pots, hopper pots, normal pots. And then there's no area in here that says that they have a Discord. Otherwise, I would, like, go to the Discord and uh, just be like, Hey, I made a video. You might want to check it out and uh, see my suggestions. It does not appear that they have a Discord. I might uh, take a look around, and if I can find a Discord, I'll put a link to it down in the description uh, if you want to join it. But yeah, uh, uh, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye-bye.